What's going on guys? Welcome back here to another video. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and do the Ginu walkthrough. Behind me, I have our new Ginu, and as promised, we're gonna go ahead and do a full walkthrough and show you guys everything it has to offer. Let's go ahead and get right into it, and let me show you guys what this awesome little boat is all about. Let's go. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started in the back of the boat here in the stern. We got the 9.9 .9 Yamaha outboard here. This thing pushes the boat amazingly, more than what I expected actually. And I wanna go ahead and do a full video on that later on, doing some speed tests on it. And coming forward here a little bit, so we have a rear deck. So this is one of the features I love about this boat, completely rear deck here. I'm not gonna take it off because I got a strap on right here, but I will show you underneath. This gives you access to the bilge area and your fuel tank underneath as well. So it's super nice. And then if we come over here, you can kind of see inside, we got the fuel tank there. It's got a three gallon fuel tank, which is plenty of gas for a full day on the water. This little outboard is super fuel efficient. So it's really nice as well. I got a little sea deck mat right on the bottom there to help the fuel tank not shift around and it works great. So moving on back here, we have some rod tubes here. So you can lay your rods right down the side gunnels here of the boat. Um, you could either do fly rods, it's long enough for fly rods. I got my weighing anchor here, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit, but it works perfectly and it keeps the rods nice and organized. One thing I love about this boat is the nice open layout. Look at this thing. So much room for activities here. And I like it because nothing gets in the way. It does have some Yeti buckles here, so you could tie a cooler. Um, what I'm gonna do with it is the previous owner added these in here. And what I'm gonna do with it is I'm actually gonna tie in my angle live well here. That way I could have it in the middle. It's got some rod holders here and um, I'm able to put some bait or even some ice if I want to or something like that. So as you can see, nice rear deck here. It's got actually quite a good amount of space here for you to stand up and do your casting. You could even put a Yeti cooler here and actually pull from it. Which that's another thing, we do have a push-pull tube, but we haven't installed it yet. It doesn't have any um, any push-pull holders, so we need to add some of those, and that way we're able to um, add the push-pull here. So moving forward here, we got the front deck. So this is another awesome feature for this boat. It's got a full front deck, and it's actually separated. So in here we have an Optima battery, which powers this 55-pound thrust Minn Kota Riptide um, trolling motor here on a nice um, bracket here, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit. But it's separate, so you have a completely um, separate front storage here with um, a little space here for your trolling motor battery, so it works perfectly. These guys thought about everything when they made these front decks, so it's really nice. As we come over here, we got the um, front access storage here. Tons of storage here. I like keeping the life jackets here, that way they're out of the way, and, um, and they're not you know taking up space somewhere else in the boat. Got some anchor ropes here as well. But there's, as you can see, there's plenty of room for some tackle still. Then moving forward here, we have the trolling motor mount. So nice little nose cap here, which allows you to mount a trolling motor mount here. And um, let me tell you, I, I was a little skeptical about this bouncing around, but it holds it so tight here and it makes it, makes it pretty easy to use actually. Super simple setup, nice and easy to launch as you can see. These boats are super nice and flat bottom, which makes it really, really nice. Overall, an awesome little machine. We've already went out on it once, and um, let me tell you, it exceeded my expectations. Super stable, floats very nice, it rides super nice. And yeah, we're gonna have a lot of cool adventures on it, a lot of cool trips on it. Um, planning on doing some cool backwater fishing with it and some, even some pulling around. I never really had a pulling boat, a boat that you could actually pull from. So this is actually going to be very cool to explore some of those very shallow water flats out there that we could pull for some redfish or something like that. So yeah guys, there you go. Pretty simple, pretty quick. Full guineo tour here. But um, you guys got a nice look at it. I'll also show you guys the guineo once we have it fully decked out, loaded up with gear and all that good stuff. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little walkthrough here of the Ginu. Like I said, it, we're super excited to have this thing and to explore some new waters. It's definitely gonna open some opportunities to fish some areas where we couldn't fish before on the bigger boat. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop some comments below. Any suggestions, anything you think I should do to this boat, drop it below. 
and I'll definitely take a look at it. Make sure to hit the thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to stay tuned for some next videos. Let's go!